victory lane, a happy place for one Denny Hamlin. He's a winner today at the Michigan International Speedway. Matt Kenseth, Kyle Busch, Paul Menard, Carl Edwards make up the top five. Let's hear from the runner-up, Ralph. Well, he got his fifth top three here today at Michigan. Matt, you got real close to him, but you just weren't able to get around him. You tried the high side and the bottom side. What was the problem? Well, it's a good things I let up to that, but first, these scrum roll guys did a great job. We had a really fast car. I thought we were going to have a shot to win today and got ourselves behind a couple times and um, was able to make that up. And anyway, I got a, I got a bad restart, and um, Carl pushed me back in there, which was uh, which was real nice of him. And I got back to Denny, but I just I couldn't get around him. We were uh, we were kind of slow for about 10 laps on most runs, and then it seemed like we were the best car from 10 until we needed fuel and just, uh, just didn't have enough time to get around. I tried everything I could, and I just couldn't uh, figure out how to do it. Adam? Matt Kenseth just missing his third win of the year. Matt Yoakum in victory lane with a man up on that restart. Yeah, well, the second to last one we did, you know, uh, I got out a little bit in front of Matt, and I, I didn't spin my tires. I accelerated pretty good. I think Matt spun his tires, so I didn't want to beat him to the line by too much, and uh, as soon as I slowed up to not beat him, the curve was coming, so I just had to wait it out and play it out. And, wasn't going to be a great day with that, but uh, we turned it into a pretty good one. We got two tires there on that last restart. We had a good one and uh, drove back up through there. So I can't say enough about Dave Rogers and these guys on this Snickers, Snickers M&M's team. You know, they did a great job for me this weekend. And, you know, the 11 team really, really helped us last week. I feel like we helped the 11 a little bit this week. And uh, it just goes to show that we're doing something right. And, um, you know, we're able to share information, which is good. And so, uh, again, you know, proud of the 11 and uh, great to see him in victory lane and, and beating out the 17. Strong day for Joe Gibbs. Ralph? Pretty good one for the Richard Childress game, too, over here with Paul Menard. Your first top five finish here at Michigan, and also your best finish of the year. This team just keeps picking away at it. What's making the difference? We've had a, we've had a rough run. No doubt about that. The, uh, my guys needed a good run. We've had uh, we've had fast cars for the most part, just been struggling to put together a full race. Had a, wasn't really sure what we had in practice. The car drove good and seemed like we liked a little bit of speed, but qualified in top 10 and, and that's so important at these uh, intermediate tracks, track position and uh, Slugger made a good call, take two tires at the end, kind of went back and forth two versus four but uh, you know, a lot of people took two, we did um, a little bit too tight at the end but uh, just you know Pittsburgh Payton, Samara Chevy was, was just a really solid weekend and that's what we needed. A lot of smiles down here Chris. Well, Carl Edwards was dominant before that last caution, but Carl, you lost two spots in pit lane, and then it looked like you had your hand full on the racetrack once the green came back down. Yeah, I did, and, and congrats to, to Denny, first of all. He, he did a really good job. Their picker did a good job. Our guys have been doing well all day. It was just, it's just a, it's so competitive down there on pit road. And then on the restart, Matt spun his tires a little bit, and I thought him and I could still get together and, and run down the back straightaway and do well, but I got to thank Affleck. Uh, Paul Amos had his kids here. They got good grades, so they got to come to the racetrack. I think Ford, you know, 40 miles per gallon that focus. We couldn't run out of fuel. I think we had him beat on fuel mileage. But um, I just hope NASCAR takes the opportunity to look at this race and takes the opportunity to change and take down force away with this 2013 car that's coming. Because the track position shouldn't be as important as it is. It'd be nice to race cars instead of down force. At least there was a good rebound from last weekend. Adam? A nice rebound for Carl Edwards indeed. Six points his advantage coming in. It's now 20. And it's now Kevin Harvick who is in the second position. Dale Jr. remains third. Kyle Busch with a nice gain. And Jimmy Johnson falling down to fifth after his rough day. Guys that make up the chase, Tony Stewart 11th in that first wild card position. Saw Denny Hamlin now inside the top 10. And Jeff Gordon 12th, the final wild card spot. And, you know, if we, we go deeper, and if we can go deeper, Keselowski that we talked about, uh, Keselowski who we talked about earlier, you look at that, I mean, he's got, he's dependent on Jeff to get up in there, and he, he's dependent on getting in the top 20. And now Denny as well, who yes, gets up exactly. a victory today. Huge. Brad Keselowski finished 25th, and he's got plenty of work to do if he's going to make that win at Kansas, pay off for him, and have a chance to make it into the chase. Dale Earnhardt Jr., a rough afternoon here at Michigan. Marty Snyder caught up with him after the race. Well, a frustrating day for Dale Earnhardt Jr. And uh, what happened there on the contact with your teammate, Dale? Uh, well, I mean, I, I got on the outside of Mark, and he just came on up and drove us in the fence off the corner. Uh, I don't know if his spotter wasn't spotting good or whether he just couldn't see good or what, but 
just ran a slant in the wall. I, I don't I don't, know what, I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It, it blew the right front tire out eventually. Uh, we had got the car pretty good at that point. We're kind of moving forward. But uh, I don't know, man. You know, the car went away from us in the middle of the race. And, but uh, I guess we can uh, try to get our stuff together and go back the next week and try to see what we can do. At points of this feel like a top five car to you, and then that would it kind of end of the day for you. I never give up. I mean, even at the end when the when we when the car was beat all to hell, we still wanted to try to get what we could at the end of the race. We tried to get as many spots as we can. Every point's a big deal out there, and I just uh, I try really hard to take care of people, try not to be careless, and I don't like putting up with carelessness, and that just really pissed me off what happened out there. So, thanks, Junior. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished 21st and not too happy about it. Here's the final running order. Hamlin a winner, Kenseth, Kyle Busch, Paul Menard, Carl Edwards, the top five, Landon Castle 12th Yeah, we didn't talk about him on today, he was, there, he was in the top 15 a lot today. That's that a good run, his man. career best finish. Dale Earnhardt Jr. outside the top 20 for the first time this season. And Biffle, 15th. AJ had a good run, but I had to pit there again, but Biffle, dominated this race, the first 100 laps. Last week's winner, Jeff Gordon, 17th this afternoon at Michigan. There you see Brad Keselowski started 41st, worked his way to the front, but issues bring him home 25th. Jimmy Johnson ends up 27th today. Never recovered. There's not enough cautions to recover at a place like this, and he never recovered from that. And Regan Smith didn't get it done either. He had that nice rally, but unfortunately it all went for naught here this afternoon at Michigan. So a little road course racing next week. And I know you two are excited about that. I'll see you in Sonoma, okay? I'm just excited about being in Sonoma. Okay? It's, it's a great place. I'm staying at a different hotel this week <laughs> than you are, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'll find you. <laughs> next Sunday, we are going west. It is NASCAR on TNT from Sonoma. We go on the air at 2 p.m. Eastern time, followed by Countdown to Green, delivered by Pizza Hut. Then it's the Toyota Save Mark 350. Next, it's the TNT Summer Preview Show. You can go to NASCAR.com for our post-race coverage. For all of us here at NASCAR on TNT, I'm Adam Alexander. Thank you for being with us in the Irish Hills of Michigan, and congratulations to Denny Hamlin. He's a winner today.